to Entrepreneurship Tuesday. Thank you very much, Barry, on matters interviewing a uh, guest on matters of entertainment events planning it's all about entertainment right all right in under one roof that is entrepreneurship tuesday i uh, remember you can follow us across our social media platform that is at y254 channel at michelle ashira is where you can find me and we have a question on our facebook page and we are asking uh uh okay so do you bargain for products that is our question do you bargain for products and then we're asking what products must you bargain for remember the hashtag to use is entrepreneurship tuesday and uh, hashtag is most definitely why in the morning so in studio right now we're going to talk about all matters pertaining human resource the management industry and um for a very long time it has evolved from way back in the early 2000 it was regarded as a personal uh, management uh, to strategic it has grown to strategic planning and uh, to being a business partner if you if you're actually a hr person that it is so in studio i have none other than nelly ayoko hr by profession right so thank you very much for coming through welcome to the show Thank you so much. Okay. Yes. So the whole business of um, HR uh, profession from way back, it was regarded as personal management. We were talking about that yeah, all, earlier on. And uh, now it has evolved to, if you're a HR person, you can get to be a business partner and be in the, in the board just to bring about strategic moves to, for the growth of the company or an organization. So at what point did you get into this particular business? Um, HR business? Yes. Uh, myself. At one point did I get into that business? Yeah, at what point, yeah. Uh, I had becoming a HR in 2014. Mm -hmm. uh, initially I was a teacher. Okay. And I opted to change my career. I did a career uh, change shift to human resource mm -hmm. and have been working as a HR personnel mm -hmm. or HR professional. Mm -hmm. And uh, later I decided to open up my company on HR aspect. Okay. Yes. So uh, what, what drove you from uh, being a teacher to, to start up your own company in 2013? Um, Actually, I registered in 2013. Mm -hmm. When I was registering the company, basically as a teacher, I really wanted to deal with career aspect, career okay. direction, career uh, mentorship. And uh, as time goes, I realized I thought of uh, uh, growing in my career. Mm -hmm. And I opted to do HR as a course, where I opted to shift my career to human resource, mm -hmm. which I also incorporated career uh, aspect. Mm -hmm. uh, what I'm doing right now, I still deal with career, where I talk to various organizations on every area of career and all edges on area of career as well. Okay, so in terms of, uh, maybe you could use this opportunity before you even continue, you could mention the name of your company, ah. yes, and so that people can actually uh, find you on website, on social media, meanwhile, as we continue this conversation. Ah, yes. Uh, my name is Nelly Ayako. Mm -hmm. um, run a company by the name Smart Royal Career Consultant. Okay. I'm uh, the founder of Smart Royal Career Consultant mm -hmm. that started in 2013, mm -hmm. but actively from 2017. Okay. And uh, we offer various products on HR solution. Mm -hmm. That is a uh, recruitment aspect. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. We also do training for various uh, mm -hmm. organizations. Mm -hmm. We also do payroll services. Okay. We also do company registration. Mm -hmm. We also do HR policies and implementation. Mm -hmm. We deal with HR consultants as an aspect, as a whole. Mm -hmm. And also, we deal HR, HR outsourcing services. All right. So, uh, I would like to find out for someone who is watching and uh, they are looking forward to get into uh, the human resource management uh, uh, industry. Like, what are some of the steps that one can take to move into the, ro the role of a HR consultant? Mm, first of all, you need to understand the field very well. Mm -hmm. You need to understand what does HR as a whole require. For you to be a consultant of a HR, because you cannot be a consultant so you do not understand. Having worked as a HR uh, from the junior uh, level to the senior position has given me a wide experience as a HR person. Mm -hmm. And besides that, you also need to go through to school, get to understand what does HR mm -hmm. as a course, what does it require mm -hmm. you mm -hmm. to be as a person, and understand all aspects of human resource mm -hmm. to be able to advise other organizations on area of human resource. Okay. Uh, you mentioned earlier on on matters of recru recruitment. 
<laughs> and select you. So if an organization or a company calls you in as a consultant company, so what do you guys look for? Because uh, we young people out here, we are looking for jobs. Yes. Yeah? So uh, <laughs> at what point we are taking a lay back seat trying to understand what are these people looking for? So when it comes to selection and uh, the recruitment, the whole process, how mm. do the company deal with that? How does the company do? Uh, I'll best with SmartRail, what we do, we advertise the position, we get application, we check on the other application, we sample them, mm -hmm. get the one that fits the position that we are having. And uh, after that, we call this individual, a number of them for interview, mm -hmm. where we'll shortlist, mm -hmm. end up having three of them that we present to our client, mm -hmm. basically just to have a look of who he can consider for that position. Mm -hmm. uh, basically what we are looking at when you're doing recruitment is the qualification in terms of education. Experience, do you have experience of that job and can you be able to work? I think during the interview that matters is your attitude. Okay. It's a key thing because mm -hmm. you could be having all this but you can, your attitude is very bad. We might not be able to present you to the client because you'll not be able to contribute much to that, that organization. Okay. Yes. Onto the services that you guys uh, do offer, I've seen apart from uh, what you mentioned, career transition, there's a, a resume. There's something yes. to do with resume. Yes. To do with training and all that. Yes. So if um, definitely a young person is watching this, is looking for a job, and we are there's so many out there. So what will be your advice in terms of cutting a niche for yourself? Um. That has been a problem. Mm -hmm. uh, basically, as a HR, uh, when I was working, I realized a number of people would miss up the open, uh, opportunity as staff, mm -hmm. not because they did not have, mm -hmm. but because of what they did, probably on their CVs mm -hmm. and the application. And basically, as a uh, smart royal career consultant, we came up with, and we have programs mm -hmm. that handle this area of uh, resumes, career writing, mm -hmm. and how to do the presentation. So we also take our candidate through this kind of training. This is the best. We have, uh, on Thursday, 5th, we are having a free one mm -hmm. where we'll be having, we'll be just taking people through this kind of training. How do you apply? Mm -hmm. How do you present yourself in the, in the interview? How do you, the content within the whole CV? Because we as a HR, I know whenever I see a CV like, like this, mm -hmm. which CV will I go for? That those CV that I'll not go for, that those CV I'll go for. But I see the first appearance matters a lot. So we are trying to train the young ones on how to do your presentation in your CV. And not only doing your presentation, also when you are forwarding to the HR, how do you do it? Because okay. it really matters a lot. Does it, does it, does it entail the presentation like as a, the, uh, the actual, when you're being interviewed, uh, the training that is? Yes. Yes, it, 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 um, it's all packaged from uh, application to the interview presentation okay. and how to answer the question as well. All right. Yes. So let's uh, uh, get into now you have found uh, your selected few of uh, guys that you have recruited for a particular organization that is. Then there's uh, another aspect of uh, now skill gap right uh, an organization can be uh, uh, slacking in terms of this the skills the talent that they have how do you curb the fact that uh, most of uh, this organization is tend to prefer to outsource outside yeah mm. uh, as i said earlier we do not just deal with recruitment mm -hmm. we are also a hr consultant firm mm -hmm. where we come in to advise you as a client what's right mm -hmm. and what is required of you mm -hmm. We are not just, just in the business of just pumping stuff in your company. Okay, okay. We look at various things. Mm -hmm. And sometimes we'll advise you, based on this skill, can we get someone who can run these roles, mm -hmm. can handle this role and this role, this role. Mm -hmm. Instead of having one person can run this role and the other one running this other role. So we'll always advise you as a, as a client what's right for you and who you required. Okay, then yes. uh, what is the, uh, the appropriate time to outsource for talent and the new blood into the organization, the new ideas? At what time is the right time to go for outsourcing outside uh, compared to developing young talent within your organization? Mm, 
it does not have actually a specific time mm -hmm. i would say that mm -hmm. but i also depend on um the opening that's there because okay. uh, if it's within the organization you are looking for a receptionist or admin mm -hmm. and there's someone who can be given that promotion to that position you'll automatically go to there mm -hmm. but if there isn't anyone you'll automatically look mm -hmm. for someone from outside okay yes it sounds so very enthusiastic and passionate about your industry so i'd like to find out um uh, I believe everyone in terms of any industry there's something you're not comfortable. What would, would be your, uh, if you're given a chance in the human resource world, uh, what is something that you're not comfortable with that you would love to the industry to change some of the things? Uh, oh, from my side, I would say basically aspect of um, star, uh, the organization impressing mm -hmm. HR as a whole, because mm -hmm. you'll find some of the organization feel like you as a HR, you are purely there to do filing, okay. uh, do record management. Mm -hmm. But you see, that's not our aspect as a HR person. Mm -hmm. We are there to advise the organization. Mm -hmm. And most of the HR will not do that part because they are not given opportunity. Okay. Uh, but if HR are given opportunity to offer this service of advising and helping the organization to move to another level, I believe things will happen. All right. So uh, I would like to find out, because in this, uh, uh, in every company or any organization, different industries, there's always uh, records of an ethical situation. How, how does your company deal with that? Or how would you advise any HR person or person who has been a victim to go about a situation where it was unethical? That mm -hmm. is, yeah. mm. We have a disciplinary process, mm -hmm. a whole disciplinary process, and that's why HR has to come in. Because if you are going to handle the disciplinary process of an an individual within an organization, and you do not understand the process, you'll end up missing up, and with this will cost the organization a lot. So there's that process that HR has to take. Mm -hmm. Uh, this individual person through it from the beginning to the end to ensure that it's in connection with the labor laws and required as required. Okay, so let's go back to some of the services again. The, there's one that caught my eye, <laughs> career transition. Like you might be in one uh, uh, career and then you feel, you feel the need to move. Uh, probably your passion has just, uh, uh, you've got a passion for something else and you don't know how to go about that. And uh, you, at uh, your company, you offer these particular services. So how does that even work? And I've been a victim of this, so it's so easy. And um, I did teaching as my first career. Okay. And uh, when I did teaching, it's not what I really liked. Mm -hmm. uh, this is what my parents would really offer at that point. Mm -hmm. And I really appreciate for that. Mm -hmm. And mom, the moment I finish up my teaching course and I start working as a teacher, I felt like I, there's a need of changing my career to what I really like. Mm -hmm. So I went doing the human resource aspect, which now I really enjoy. So why I advise young ones uh, on that aspect, because mm -hmm. they, they could be victim where they have found themselves um, doing something that they did not like, mm -hmm. and right now they want to do something they like. Mm -hmm. I tell them the first, uh, your first career matters so much. When you're thinking about doing career shift, mm -hmm. remember you also invested time, you invested money uh, within the first career. Mm -hmm. So when you're shifting, get something that can be in connection with your first career so that you do not waste your resources. Like right now as a HR, I do training. Mm -hmm. As a teacher, I was teaching. Mm -hmm. It's in connection. Mm -hmm. So I keep on encourage, encouraging the young ones, do as you're doing the shift, do it in a, in a way that you don't go off mm -hmm. what you really did on your first is there a form of counseling because uh, if you have really invested so much in one in your previous career and you are ready for the other, maybe you might feel like uh, in terms of finances, I am really straining, right? Mm -hmm. And you are actually questioning yourself uh, if I'm actually making the right decision. Does is there uh, in terms of your training, are there counseling sessions where you are, you just make sure that your client has a clear focus or clear head to actually take a good the right uh, decision sure we do that because uh -huh. um you look at um right now i spent three years in college i've worked maybe for three years mm -hmm. remember i'm supposed to work for another more than 20 years mm -hmm. or 30 years mm -hmm. if i'm having a career that i'm not comfortable it means that i'm going to be a slave within that career mm -hmm. so we take them through mm -hmm. that kind of counseling and mm -hmm. how to transit because it required money time so we help them on smooth way on how to be able to transit from this career to another without affecting your life. Okay. Uh, speaking about transition and now, 
uh, the elimination part, uh, whereby uh, if you are a HR person, you, you are actually given there's a mandate where you can actually uh, eliminate an employee. So, uh, how do you go about it, remembering that this person is receiving bad news and curses may just be flowing? <laughs> Do you have any experience uh, in your line of work for over a decade now? Uh, when I take up a responsibility as a mm -hmm. HR, mm -hmm. this is one of my role, mm -hmm. uh, termination, mm -hmm. where I have to handle it. So sad, yeah. Yeah, it's not a nice one, mm -hmm. but uh, uh, it's done very well with the HR because I'll not call you and tell you, go, you're going home, right? Mm -hmm. uh, I'm re releasing you out of, out of the organization. There's a way, as a HR, we are talented on how to handle you. Mm -hmm. As much as you're going to be released, you'll feel comfortable that I'm being released, but you feel bad that I'm leaving the job. But there's a counseling that we take them through slowly by slowly that this is going to happen and uh, you have to take it nicely. But still, the other opening, if it comes, we'll still recommend you. Mm -hmm. And uh, we advise them on how best they can also build their career even outside there. All right. Uh, maybe we could take this opportunity and uh, talk to young people who are uh, looking for jobs and also in terms of uh, the services and your company, how they can find you on social media. Mm -hmm. yes. um, as I said, we are Smart Royal Career Consultants. We are um, in town center, Malim Cooperative House. That's where we are. Mm -hmm. We are also found in Facebook. Uh, for the young people who are looking for a job, uh, we offer opening for jobs for various people uh, in connection with various organizations. But uh, we also need serious people who are coming to look for jobs. What do you mean <laughs> serious people? Because <laughs> there are things we, they look for jobs. Mm -hmm. You call them for interview. You send them for the next interview. Mm -hmm. They don't appear. Mm -hmm. Or rather they end up... Uh, you know, it's all about the, the respond. When the client calls them, they, they're answering. Mm -hmm. A client says, you know, I don't know, I don't need this person. So we need serious people who are interested, who are ready to work, who are willing to work, and who are willing to learn. Mm -hmm. Yes. But we are open. Uh, we offer the recruitment aspect and job replacement for various companies. Okay, so how can they find you on social accounts? Um, basically, we are on Facebook, mm -hmm. Smart Royal Career Consultant. Mm -hmm. We also have a website, www.smartroyalcareers.com. Uh, dot co dot ke. All right. Yeah. As we are winding up right now, I'd like to find out uh, uh, your your take on the majority of us think that you guys are officers, organization officers, because you're always in law enforcement and we are trying to avoid you because <laughs> we are not sure of what you might tell our bosses now. Um, <laughs> I would say, uh, as a HR person, uh -huh. you are required to have integrity. Okay. Whatever I shared with you, mm -hmm. it's between me and you. Okay. Uh, do not fear a HR. Oh, right. They should be your close friend mm -hmm. because there are people who are able to advise you, they are able to help you. So if you keep away from them, automatically you are going to mess up. Okay. Yes, so do not fear HR. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we are there to help you at any cost, any point. All right, we're going to take that home. We are not going to fear uh, <laughs> HR personnel anymore. So at Mission Lashira is where you can find me. You can follow us across our social media platform. That is at Y254 channel. Remember, we have a question on Facebook and we are asking the products which you bargain for. All you have to do is use the hashtag Entrepreneurship Tuesday at Michelle Ashira is where you can find me across all my social media platforms. So coming up, I believe it's good music coming your way. So make sure you don't touch that dial. Remember, our time frame is till 10 a.m. Yes. <laughs>